What's going on everybody? Welcome to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog and today we're going to do something that's going to keep these trespassers out and hopefully keep our dogs in the yard. So we got our Ghost Controls automatic gate opener and I've already kind of uh, skipped a few steps ahead so you guys won't see the uh, actual part of me mounting this thing here. I'll show you guys what this is. Um, What's going on everybody? Welcome to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog and today we're going to do a little video over a Ghost Controls automatic gate opener. It's time to keep the trespassers out and our dogs in our yard. So we got this heavy gate and these posts all set up here and uh, we're ready for the opener now. I still got a gap here at the bottom and we're going to haul in some uh, 3 quarter inch crusher run gravel or something similar and fill all that in once we get these automatic control on there but uh, i just want to show you guys today the process i've got a couple other people i know that has the same kind of a uh, gate and post set up as i do so they asked me hey could you kind of make a video over that or something so i can uh, know what to do when i get my automatic opener that way i don't have to try to figure out how to do it because uh i'm kind of retrofitting mine um this kit actually comes with this piece here and what this is is actually for like a wood post like a square wood post and as you can see i got four and a half inch pipe post is what i'm doing so i had to uh make some parts to make this thing work right but it looks pretty stout so i think it's going to work great so uh, i kind of skipped that part um there's basic directions with the instruction booklet that will walk you guys through all that that's pretty easy that's just using a couple of lag screws to bolt that mount to your post but one thing you want to do is you want to make sure the middle of this is pretty much even with the middle of your crossbar that you're mounting your gate to your gate opener to so i don't have a lot of daylight left today but i'm going to try to get started probably try to finish tomorrow i don't have a battery for our solar charger either uh, we got the architectural ghost control opener and it did come with the solar charger i don't have the battery i gotta go get a battery so maybe tomorrow i'll be able to finish this project but uh I went ahead and if you guys do have the steel post like I do, like I said, this is four and a half inch. I took a piece of the shallow unistrut here. This is just a little piece of channel strut that has little spring nuts that hold the nut up here. So you can, uh, whatever you're mounting or fastening to, you can just use a bolt and it just pulls it tight against these little channels here. And uh, that's the only thing I could think of without actually welding this bracket onto this post. So uh, that's what I went with. And now I'm going to uh, skip to the next part where I'm actually going to mount the arm. So uh, bear with me and we'll see if we can't get this figured out. All right, guys. So this first set that we're doing here is the actual arms that holds the opener on. And if you do have an extra set of hands that can help you, it would, uh, wouldn't hurt anything. This is kind of difficult to do one handed or one with one person. Luckily, I have a tripod for the camera there. All right, so we're not going to tighten anything up real tight yet. We're just going to try to get everything where it kind of goes. And I'm going to try to read these instructions. Okay, guys, when you get to this part here, um, this bar right here has one hole on one end and two holes on the other end. You want to make sure you get the two holes on this end on both of these tabs because this is where your adjustment is on your angle of your opener to your gate. And uh, this is where your second butt will go and it will keep it in place. So make sure you get those holes on this thing and not both holes on this side because you'll just have to take it all off and redo it. So we're going to line ours up straight to where the gate is open fully. It will be straight off of this post. And it'll be fully open at that point and we're not like i said we're not going to tighten anything up just yet we're just going to kind of put everything together and make sure we don't need to make any adjustments before we go to tightening all these nuts and bolts up that looks pretty good the gate will open this way so i think that will be straight enough and we can cheat over i do have this at an angle a little bit because like i said this is a pipe and it's curved it's not flat like a wood post so I might go ahead and cheat over one. I don't think it'll be too much. Yeah, that should be good. 
Okay, so it's time to mount our actual arm, and it comes with this this pin here, and then we'll put a little uh, hairpin in there that'll hold it in place. And they do make lockable ones, so people can't just come up here and uh, pull it right out and take it off and open your gate. So that's how it's gonna work. Yeah, I think that's gonna work out nice. And this is the little hairpin I'm talking about here, and it goes in the bottom. All right, one thing I almost forgot is these little nylon bushings, they need to go under both points of where this opener goes on the mount. And that's what it rides on, and it just keeps the metal from wearing out from metal to metal. So, I was looking at the instructions and I just seen that. So you don't want to forget that step. Okay guys, so now it's time to put this on this end of the gate opener. And it comes with these little clamps that go around this round pipe fence here, or this gate. Uh, we have a, uh, what they call a pipe gate. So, it comes with these little clamps here. And if you need to open it up, you can open it up a little bit. That way it'll fit around yours. But this one here, it's gonna fit right over ours just fine. So I'm gonna insert that in there. Get a washer and a nut and then uh, tighten it down. A little tricky to get your hands in there. And of course, I'm going to cheat. You want to make sure that they're straight these look pretty straight to me. <clears throat> okay, so I got all this put together and now it is time to open the gate as far as you want it open. And I'm just going to slip this over and that, luckily it comes out in the center of this panel here. This panel actually hits the center of those mounts so I don't have to cut anything. And uh, we're gonna put some uh, bolts in both of these eyes here and nuts and get this kind of level. Okay, so I got them on there. I need to get them kind of leveled and then we'll tighten it up. Okay, so we got our arm mounted and everything tightened up, but uh, I can't really do much more um, until I get the solar panel mounted and then the control box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. I'm going to mount the solar panel up here on this somehow. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. And then the box will probably just go on this top rail here on the H brace. And of course you want your solar panel facing due south. So I might take out another tree so I can get the full sun. Um, I don't know. I should be good for another year or two until this tree gets real big. But uh, I'm going to try to get that done and then we'll continue with the next steps. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, it's another day. I went ahead and got a lot of work done. Some of the stuff that you guys don't really need me to show you how to do. But I basically got the solar panel mounted on the post. Got all my wiring hooked up. Got everything zip tied nice and neat here. Got the control box screwed in to the H brace. Got all my wires hooked up. And look at here, I got a new battery. I had to go to my least favorite place in the world, Walmart, to get this guy. So anyways, I'm just going to skip through and not show you guys all the little easy stuff that I did. But I got everything ready to go and now we are ready to program this controller to close this gate where we want it to stop. So it's pretty easy to do. 
Um, I'm gonna walk you guys through a little bit of this. And uh, the main thing is you gotta know if you want a pull or push to open gate. Uh, the way we have ours now is a pull to open. So we got our gate opener on the inside. And as you can see, this is going to go in to open the gate. When it's closed, the shaft's going to be all the way out. So one thing you got to do is on these little dip switches, you got to make sure it's on pull to open. Okay, so we got everything hooked up, got everything secured, all our fasteners are tight, everything's ready to go. What you're going to do is uh, right here it says jog close. And what you can do is you can walk this gate close just a little bit at a time. You just hold it closed. And you're gonna do this until it's in the exact closed position that you will want it all the time when it's closed. Alright, it's closed. Alright, so now it's gonna jog it a little bit at a time until we get it right there. And you want it perfect. Hopefully the wind doesn't. Alright, so we got a little too far. So now I'm going to do the jog open. Mm, a little too much. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, so once you get it where you want it, then this middle button here, you're gonna do first set. And you hold it down until it beeps. Alright, so that's that part. Now let's do the remote. Okay, here we got our Ghost Controls remote, and uh, this is pretty easy to do. Uh, you come over here to your control board, and you hold down the Learn Transmitter. Okay, you got your light, amber there. Now you're just going to hold this down. There you go. Program. It's that easy. And I will tell you guys, this is way, way easier than uh, the Mighty Mule setup. And I am no way uh, affiliated with Ghost Controls at all. They're not sponsoring me or nothing else. But I did a lot of research and uh, a lot of reviews and stuff. And a lot of people really suggested the Ghost Controls over the Mighty Mule. So that's what we went with. And uh, hopefully this will help keep the trespassers out and our dogs in. As you can see Skeeter here likes playing in the yard. Um, this is really easy to do. This has been a really easy setup. If you got everything ready to mount and all that, it makes it really simple. And uh, one thing on this new battery, I want to tell you guys, most people will know, but if you got a battery, don't set it on the ground. Get it one of these nice weatherproof containers. It's got a lid. It's got vents in it, so no gas builds up and makes it a bomb or anything like that. Uh, makes it dangerous. So get one of these plastic containers i got this one at walmart they're like seven or eight dollars and if you just set this battery on the ground or on concrete it will drain it and drain it really quick so you don't want to do that you want to have it in some kind of container or on a on a piece of plastic or something where it's not on the ground so there you have it guys the ghost control automatic gate opener is installed and ready to be used i only have one remote so i'm gonna have to get online and order some more but I will say, uh, after being an owner of the Mighty Mule and now installing one of these ghost controls, that although this one was a little bit more expensive than the Mighty Mule that I have, this one was way, way easier. The instructions were super easy to follow. And, uh, you know, after doing my research and reading online and everything, that's why I chose to go with it. It's a lot quieter, and the motor is actually a little bit faster, so it opens and closes a little faster. So when you hit the button, you're not sitting in your car waiting as long. So I'm very happy with this ghost control unit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if we have any problems and if we have to use the tech support. I'll do a follow-up uh, on it later on maybe. But uh, the solar panel and all that, it's pretty simple to do. If you guys have any questions, you can uh, email me or send me a message or leave a comment if you guys have any questions. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.